Come here, honey. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mandy. And I'm David. And, and we're, we're Amanda Adams, Adams Auctions. Auctions. I'm the auctioneer and valuer. Amanda's uh, the uh, auctioneer. And, <laughs> and everything and the else. Boss. <laughs> Hi, if you're wondering what this is all about, we're selling a very important collection of coins, medallions, banknotes for Peter Wall Estate in our April the 26th auction. And if you walk, walk around the room here, you can see all the books, catalogues, memorabilia relating to the collection. That's also to be sold in the collection. We've put some of the average items out along there, some of the coins, some of the coins we've put together in, in little box lots. This collection is probably one of the most important single collections ever assembled in Australia. Uh, Peter War collected over 50 years and he covers all fields, world uh, banknotes, Australian banknotes, gold coins, Australian gold coins, Australian uh, pre-decimal Australian colonial coins, including we've got uh, holy dollars, we've got holy uh, the dumps as well, we've got um, Australian nickel pennies, 1930 pennies, rare ancient coins from Greece, from a Roman, right across the field. So it's going to be a pretty special event. Hey everybody, just thought I'd in interrupt Steve Cole over here. Steve Cole being the uh, coin expert that um, has come along to help Amanda Adams Auctions uh, work out the cataloguing for the Peter Wall collection, which is on the 26th of April. Stephen is our expert because David and I do know a lot of things, but we don't know everything. So we need the expertise of somebody like Stephen to set us right, and certainly to represent the Peter Cole, uh, Peter Wall, not Cole, Peter Wall collection uh, to the uh, uh, best. Well, thanks very much, Amanda. Um, the one thing I am very impressed about with this collection, it's been formed over 50 odd years, I understand, is the diversity of it. It uh, ranges from very cheap little pieces, there'll be something here for everybody because um, $20 or $30 might be the bottom price but anything up to ten or 12000 will be the, uh, and even more, I haven't looked at the 1930 penny understands in the collection. Yes. So that's the depth hey. of the collection. <laughs> we were uh, excited, yeah. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so um, we're looking at quite a, an extensive range of price and the quality is incredible. The gold especially, and that's all I've catalogued to date. But um, like and give you an example, that is um, a Portuguese coin from 1730s. Um, it right. was used in Australia as proclamation money. That was before we had any currency of our own. And um, what we did was um, take on other currencies from other parts of the world. And that, that was... We, sorry, is that because we couldn't produce it? We didn't produce anything. Um, until gold in 1852. So we were all thumbs? Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, there was a real shortage of coinage in the world at that time. And all the colonial countries, like America, had the problem too. So the only currency that was really uh, available was the, uh, the um, Spanish and Portuguese, Dutch and English. And they were about the only ones. Some of them lasted for many years after that we got currency here. But um, that is an exceptional piece and um, it's known as the Joanna. 12,800 rays. Uh, and that's exactly why Stephen's here because I would have gone to you and said, oh look, that's a gold coin. Hmm, 100 to 200 dollars? <laughs> but not Stephen. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, I mean, that's that's others, incredible, so much detail behind one coin. Yeah. Well, it's uh, just, I suppose, shows the range that we've got here to mm. auction on the 26th. So it will be a very special auction, I can assure you of that. Uh, it's important to note when you uh, uh, register this auction, which you need to register before you even view, you'll need to bring full ID, that's driver's licences, business references, uh, bank details, uh, before you can even view the, this auction because there will be strict security held here. When you come into view, uh, you'll be uh, given a list to write down how many lots you want to look at maximum of 10 to 12 at any one time and we'll bring those items out to you to view. The only things on display are the basic items like the books and uh, little box lots which as you can see throughout the view, uh, room you can see but all the other items will be brought out to you. 
It's also important to note that everything in the auction will be sold unreserved, sold to the highest bidder. There'll be no pass-ins, there'll be no referrals, everything will be sold on the day. There will be no second opportunity to come on the Monday to make offers because everything will be sold. All the money is going to charity from the estate. It's important to also remember that this collection was amassed over 50 years. So it's a 50-year collection and it was collected internationally. Uh, Peter uh, purchased items from all auctions overseas, all around the world, throughout Australia. It's a collection that was amassed uh, with a lot of uh, thought going into it. He collected worldwide. He collected ancients. He collected uh, world. He collected history. He was involved in the history side of it as well. Uh, some many rare items in the auction. Uh, the catalogue will be up online about 10 days before the auction, so you'll be able to look at the catalogue. But if you want to purchase the uh, catalogue in advance, just send us a postal note uh, or a cheque for forty dollars, and that'll cover uh, the air posting for the catalogue and the uh, the mailing. But otherwise, the catalogue will be available to purchase here at the auction at a cost of thirty dollars. Okay, guys. So we're um, still cataloguing. Yeah, we're still cataloguing here. Still doing it, yeah. It's a big job. How's it going? Slowly. Slowly. Yeah. Why, why don't you tell us about some of the exciting finds you've had? Well. What did you find, Stephen? What was your best find? I found the Holy Dollar, I think, was my best find. Uh, which is a little excellent one. Uh, and that should bring? 30, 40,000. And what did I find? I found a, a 1921 Australian Square nickel penny. Mm -hmm. So that should also bring in the same range, shouldn't it? 30, yeah, 40, 50,000 dollars. Yeah. But and the good thing is, they're there to be sold, so it, it, all of them will be sold. You found a lot of ancient coins? Yes, quite a few ancients, Greek and Roman, uh, quite a mix. There's some lovely pieces that um, I think the best I've catalogued today would be uh, about $2,000 uh, for one of the Greek pieces from Amphilia, the Spendos. And uh, that's a uh, lovely tetradarm, silver tetradarm, about the size of a 10 cent piece that's um, it's got a slinger on one side and two wrestlers on the other, so it's very typically Greek. Another piece I looked at a moment ago was a beautiful um, Celtic stator from Britain, uh, early first century, first 50 years of, of the millennium. Uh, it's got a horse, a destroyed horse on one side and uh, a near a cob, uh, cob of uh, wheat on the other, an ear of, ear of wheat. Anything else interesting that you want to tell us about? I'm tired. Yeah, right. <laughs> we're, we're so interested in that. <laughs> Some of the highlights, of course, of the rare Great Britain coinage, covering right back uh, to the uh, 12th century, including many gold items, some rare uh, 17th century crowns in uh, extra fine condition. In the Australian lot, the highlights, of course, will be the 1930 penny, uh, the Holy Dollar, the uh, 1921 Nickel Penny, which is extra fine, above uh, extra fine, maybe even close to uncirculated condition. A lot of the early banknotes, the rare Australian banknotes. Uh, the gold coins, the world uh, uh, gold coins. There's a lot of very rare world gold coins, including Australian rare Australian uh, gold coins rare Great Britain gold coins. Uh, the ancients, in the ancients, some very rare uh, Byzantium, uh, Roman and Greek coins. Not only did Peter collect uh, uh, coins, banknotes, there's a vast collection of medallions as well. Uh, medallions and tokens. And so there, there'll be an opportunity for everyone to purchase a little bit of Peter Wall's collection in this auction. Uh, everything is priced realistically, as I said before. Everything is priced to sell. All items will be unreserved. All the best from Amanda Adams Auctions. We'll see you on April the 26th. Well, that's the same. No, no, that's good. I don't know what to say. And we can, you can view it virtually every lot, but we will be doing probably 10 to 12 lots per item. Uh, per You'll probably be doing 10 to 12 items uh, per batch.